So you want to talk about miracles? I'll tell you a miracle. I was living in the Sinai Desert. When was that? Over 40 years ago. Why well, was I in the Sinai Desert? Well, I was sick and tired of this crazy, fakakta, mixed up world. You know what I'm talking about. And I made a hut for myself on a sand dune down there under a palm tree. And I lived there for three years. I used to go fishing in the Red Sea. And one day I was fixing my net sitting on the sand dune. And it occurred to me, or it came to me, I have no explanation, that Jesus, this of all the things in the world, is the Messiah for the Jewish people. I'm like, what, what is this? How is this possible? And this was a life transforming encounter that I had with Jesus or Yeshua, as we called him. Of course, for me, he was that guy that we don't talk about. And I can only stand this to be a miracle because there really is no natural way that this could have happened. There's no reason. It, 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 was, it was God intervening in the natural order of things to come to a Jew in the middle of the desert and reveal himself to me. And I say that this is a miracle, first of all, because it was transformational. My life was instantly transformed. I mean, I became a dedicated, you know, disciple and followed Yeshua for the rest of my life. And I see this also not just as a personal testimony to the power, let's say the willingness of God to continue to pour his love on my people regardless of time or space and unhooked or unhinged even to human endeavors to make that kind of a thing happen. When a miracle happened in the Bible, it was written down and his stories were passed down from generation to generation. And this story, my story, and the story of many others, of my friends actually, I'm here in Israel, this is back in the 60s and 1970s, had similar encounters with Jesus. This is something that represents something much bigger than ourselves. This is a story. If you will, this is a biblical story. You know, if we were still writing the Bible today, this is one of the things that would be recorded and that would be told. That my people, these people, came back to this land and after 2,000 years of a veil, is it? I don't even know, but after we came to a place of history where the children of Israel could never, could not recognize Yeshua. And the history that has led us to this place is instantly... God instantly interferes with that. And he says, no, I have a plan. Basically, there's no other way to do this. I'm going to come in and I am going to reveal myself. This is a miracle, and we're seeing this miracle always around the whole nation of Israel. I, I believe that Israel still today has a national dialogue as a nation with God. And what's happening in Israel is an expression of God's will being worked out in the world today. So right now, our main purpose and goal at Israel today is to defend Zionism. Our people, our land, our nation, our history is being attacked on every front. Is in the media, as a generation, even in the Christian world, more and more people, it's hard for them to accept that there's a biblical basis for understanding who Israel is and what the purpose of the Jewish people that, that God has 
said to us in his word, we cannot defend Israel on a political, at a political level. There's no reason really that we are here um, if it were not for being chosen and for having a promised land. And the miracles that happened surrounding Israel coming back to this land are, are, are epic. They're at a biblical level. So I praise God uh, for his working in our world and in our lives today through our Lord Yeshua the Messiah. Thank you.